Hi, I am Dilip J. Ste. I am the president of the American Psychiatric Association. I am also a professor of psychiatry and neurosciences at the University of California, San Diego. I am a geriatric psychiatrist and for a number of years I have been studying schizophrenia in older patients. The usual notion about schizophrenia and aging is that as people with schizophrenia get older they become cognitively and physically worse. We found that that was only half true. They do get physically worse, however cognitively they do not get impaired any faster than the population at large. More importantly, we found that as people with schizophrenia get older, they begin doing better from the psychiatric perspective. They often know that if they stop the medication, they would have a relapse. And to, in order to avoid relapse, they are more adherent with medications than younger adults with schizophrenia. Substance abuse is less common in older people. Older adults with schizophrenia are less likely to be hospitalized for psychotic relapse than younger adults, although they may be hospitalized for medical reasons. So, we consistently found that contrary to the notion of dementia precox, as schizophrenia being a disease that progressively gets worse, we found that psychosocially, people with schizophrenia actually did better as they got older. So one question was, is this something unique to this population or is this a more generalized finding? So we began a study of average adults living in the community. To date, we have studied several thousand people between the ages of 50 and 102 living in the San Diego community. What we find is uh, what I call a paradox of aging. With aging, the physical health declines. Some cognitive abilities like working memory decline. However, psychosocial functioning improves. People feel better about themselves. They are happier. They are more sociable. And in general, they seem to derive more satisfaction from the life than they did when they were younger. So that led to the question, why do they do better? Usually expectation would be that aging would be associated with degeneration, deterioration, disease, disability, dementia, depression, and finally death. Yet some aspects of functioning, especially psychosocial functioning, improve with age. Looking further at that, we have found that some ability areas such as social decision making or decision making based on experience actually are better in older adults than in younger adults. In recent years, there is also considerable literature on neuroplasticity of aging. It shows that even in an older brain, new synapses can form, new circuits can form, and sometimes even new neurons can form in certain regions of the brain. That is neuroplasticity of aging. And that seems to be related more to things like psychosocial stimulation, resilience, optimism, social engagement, rather than to physical health. This is what I call positive psychiatry. Positive psychology has been there, of course, for some time. I think psychiatry and neuroscience have not paid much attention to that, and I believe that needs to change. As psychiatrists, we need to learn more about resilience, optimism, wisdom, compassion, social engagement, we need to learn more about the brain mechanisms underlying them, but also we need to develop interventions that will help increase the stress in people with mental illnesses as well as those with physical illnesses. I think the result will be older people who are functioning at a much higher level 
than expected, those who are happier and contributing more to the society. So instead of thinking about uh, looming age wave as a silver tsunami, we should really be looking at it as a golden wave. Thank you.